So if you're one of those people that have no idea what's going on, this is what's going on. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of the channel supporters out there that are supporting the channel financially and if you are willing to do so yourself, there is a link in the video description. So I'm here at Rosanna uh, station and because there, Andari is here as well, so <laughs> no, I'm just joking. This is a really cool outfit, by the way. Uh, anyway, I'm just joking. The, um, there is a Phoenix Prize event going on right now. And um, if you're one of those, if you at least want to have one of those uh, Phoenix Prize packs for free on a daily basis, you can talk to this guy, this NPC right here, this Ferengi. Uh, you talk to him, you accept the mission. And then you talk to him again. That's kind of weird. You need to talk to him twice to get the prize. And you're going to get... Um, um, one of those uh, Phoenix uh, things uh, in there. I'm sorry, I'm just mumbling on. Um, this video is all about the new TFO. The new TFO is called Remain Klingon. Um, eligible uh, for the Battle of Kronos, a battle between Jaula and Jinpong rages on the surface of, Kron uh, of Kronos. Uh, the crew on both sides were left to continue the battle in orbit, as is their story. Um, now, I don't know if this is going to be a space or a uh, ground battle. Let me just make sure that uh, right now I have my preference as of as of now the uh, Jemadar Vanguard carrier because I'm just you know I'm just kind of loving the the the, the pet spawning. Um, but I'm going to queue up for this particular mission because this is part of the new event campaign right here. So if you still haven't claimed these prizes right here, or at least one of these prizes, um, you can actually do that if your campaign progress is 3,500 of these points. Um, that means that you kind of need to do at least a couple of them. I believe it's three maybe four that you need to do and then you're going to be eligible to claim this reward right here so that's one of these tier um tier six uh premium choice starship that they're talking about or two of the 100 percent discount uh coupon uh, coupon sorry for the tier six everything that has to do with the c store or just flat out um low buy crystals if you're into that and these are very 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 cool prizes. Unfortunately, we need to do all of these events uh, throughout the year. Let me just accept that before <laughs> we actually uh, failing that part. And we definitely don't want to do that. Now, I do want to mention I have no idea what's going on except everything that they have been written down in their blog. So I have absolutely no idea because I have not been watching those uh, blogs. Yes, I've been watching them because I want to make a video. But While our ground forces engage Jumbok and his troops... We must secure the space of Akronos. Our biggest concerns lie with two enemy vessels, the Kristak and the Tark. Each ship has modifications that could turn the tide of the battle against us. Do you have any questions? Okay, so I thought this was going to be a new TFO. That's why I remained quiet. Maybe like, you know, some kind of like backstory is going to happen or something like that. But this is an old, old TFO. This is not something new. To be honest, this is something that we already know and have played for a long time. So, this, um, the, the Kristak. Your pathetic rebellion ends here. The matriarch is having your master on Kronos, Mark I thought and the... I will make sure mm -hmm. she has no ship to run to. And no witless rabble to cheer on. Okay, so this CFO is one of the older ones. Um, I don't know why they put this here. I really thought that they... Ah, fools! You cannot defeat me! I will return stronger than ever! Okay, so in... Do Run while you can, coward! Soon, I will end this war. And you lie. <laughs> okay, so... This entire TFO is all about um, you basically having the football, as you guys in the US are all about, and just bringing the ball all the way to the field goal right here. And there are two field goals, these guys right here, so we have A and B, or at least, um, I don't know if they're actually named like that, but... 
So this ship is going to fire to this thing. Um, basically what he's saying right here. Uh, stay within a certain distance with these things to actually counteract the, the, the enemy virus that they're talking about. Uh, it's kind of cool the way that they're doing this. I thought that they were going to make a new TFO based upon all of the hype. That they were talking about unfortunately they just released or at least reused the old tfo and this guy is actually not doing its job because he needs to go to uh, that part right there to make sure that also the kristak is also doing its progression there is like you know five parts up here for the target and also for the kristak um unfortunately it is a pug a pickup group and unfortunately not everybody knows what they're doing right here so some people are just you know they have an enemy they have a um they have something to shoot at sorry <clears throat> they have something to shoot at and then you just go out blowing uh everybody out of the sky unfortunately this tfo it's not all about that. It's not about killing the enemy. It's all about whenever you're going to get like, you know, chosen at random like this guy is doing, just go to the designated gold, designated field gold and just go over there. This guy did a really awesome job. That's good. That's what you need to do. This guy is just hanging around over here. He has no idea. The USS Enterprise. This was his name, his ship for. He's just hanging around, killing everybody. That's not what this objective is all about. He's just not really informed and that's unfortunately but it is what it is currently we need to tag the targ five times we also need to tag the kristak five times and we only do that when we are taking out of the cloaking device on the um kristak up here and the targ is basically the same thing whenever the targ is going to be um dealing with the virus that's basically when we are going to tag her one, two, three, four, five times. And if both ships are tanked five times, then this TFO is going to progress to the next section of this thing where we can basically kill off everybody that we need. But to do that, we kind of need to do a little bit of teamwork, something that we are not doing because not everybody is like, yes, this TFO needs to... Yes, that's what we need to do. That is something that we need to do, stay within 5 kilometers and then the virus is going to... That's not gonna happen. There is the repair ship, that is one of those small ships that is going to be taken out by my pets. Because uh, it's... yeah, it's not that good. Yes, we're gonna hit it with the virus. There are two of my teammates have been targeted on random, to be honest. One of them is actually doing its Our thing. The, re the Enterprise for once, the Enterprise actually did a good thing. Um, so all of these, these other enemies that you guys are facing, or these while facing this TFO, it's, it's all good. I mean, they're not doing a lot of damage, as you guys can see. I have no skills. I have zero skills. The only thing that I have is a little bit of, sorry, the little bit of upgraded, um, upgraded, uh, what's it called? Uh, equipment. I don't have anything that is like, oh, wow, this is something that I could never have. No, you guys can have the same thing, the same items that I'm having, the same, um, actually better items that I'm having, to be honest. Because these are not the, 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 the awesome items that you can have. Obviously, you have, like, you know, better weapons that you can equip your ship with. With, I don't know, lockbox uh, weapons or something like that. Especially the latest one, the, 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 the new shinies. These, the ones that I'm using are not the best one. I can tell you that. So this guy is talking about the repair ship. Repair ship probably that way somewhere. Now, this is something also, I do apologize for me talking that much, but these guys are also talking, so I want to just, you know, talk over them. Because these guys, this entire thing is like, focus on this thing, focus on that thing, focus on here, focus on there. And I just want to make it clear to you guys, this TFO has two parts. The first part is make sure that these two ships, there's one ship up here, one ship over there. 
one ship over there, the Kristak, has to do with the uh, cloaking device. And the uh, Targ over here, ha you just need to be in the vicinity for the virus to take place. That's it. That is it. That is all what you do. When you are targeted at random, you just need to go to the corresponding, um, corresponding ship. And that ship is going to get either targeted by the virus, like the target is normally going to do, or at the Kristak that you're going to be um, firing at the cloaking device that's going to be on offline. That's it. So the USS target is is done now. I am targeted. Um, I'm targeted by the, the the computer at random, obviously, to go to the Kristak right here, and that's what we're going to do. And then the cloaking device is going to be on offline or offline, sorry. And that's that's it. That's it. You just disable the cloaking device, and there we go. So right here the cloaking device is going to be available for us to target very soon in three two one and a half three quarters there it is you can target this thing you kill the cloaking device and both of these ships are going to be able or at least you are going to be able to kill them or at least not kill them entirely just destroy them um and then that's it for this gfo this is what we need to do there we go confirmation both dreadnoughts are available. Uh, fire at will. I don't want you targeting will. But you can definitely target all of the enemies right here. And just hit your key binding uh, button if you have one of those GPS rotation keys. If you don't, there is a video that I made on the channel for you to do um, key bindings files with and it's going to help you out dish a lot of DPS something that I am basically firing no all now, all of my enemy uh, or these two by enemies by all of the available skills that are, you guys are seeing right here for DPS that are doing DPS now obviously like this type of things and healing type of things I don't have any DPS because that's not going to help us out but Star this is what the off. DFO is all about. I Let me see. How many days do we need to do that? 14 off. maybe? Um, Cease all and the actually, this is say. Oh, here we go. Features. Sorry. My bad. Guys, 14 days of this thing and we're going to get the event reward right here. So complete your daily requirement to complete any of these GFO activities. Earn your way through the... I don't want to hear about that. Uh, the grand prize of this, uh, the console universe and Ankara's Vengeance will... Which AI launches an intrinsic burst that flies to the target and immediately damages. The, and it shut down various systems one by one, uh, except the shield, the electrical damage uh, ravages. The enemy while the center fails around them. So this is what it's going to be. The... the Akar's Vengeance, so it does on uh, whenever you're going to equip it, it enhances your impulse expertise, so it's going to improve your speed and turn rate, and also maximum weapon power does not attack with other maximum weapon power increases. And obviously this thing is going to be on a cooldown for two minutes, so electrical damage and disabled multiple subsystems one by one, so... With my particular build, like I said, I don't have any particular build. I don't have any skills. I do have a couple of traits, but then also not a lot. Oh my God. <laughs> I really need to do a little bit of space traits because this is this is kind of ridiculous. I'm just only using like four out of um, three, six, nine, eleven skills. That's not that's not good. Uh, but anyway, this thing is doing uh, 24,653.1 electrical damage. It's going to ignore the shield. And it's going to do 7.635 uh, electrical damage every one second for the next six seconds. And also disables every subsystems for the next 6.5 seconds with a two minute cooldown if you want to activate this thing. And obviously you're going to get the featured TFO reward. That is just a little bit of bonus. You need that obviously in your life because you couldn't get that anywhere else, right? You can't get these TFO rewards. Oh my God. And anyway. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just ranting on a little bit. That's not, that's not good. Um, this is good. This is good. Like it, get it. Unfortunately, it is not part of a set. This is just one of those 
universal consoles, one of a kind that you can slot up in your ship slots. Whenever you find a, an empty slot, you can slot this thing in if you want to go electrical damage. I honestly don't know if this is going to be good. It does do a lot of damage in electrical. Uh, oh, electrical wise, <laughs> the, the TFO just kicked me out. So I was like, what's going on here? Anyway, um, yeah, that's it for this video. I hope, I hope you guys had a little bit of um, entertainment knowledge coming out of the channel because I really was thinking that this is going to be a new TFO. Unfortunately, no new TFO. This is just the... Why are you up here, dude? Seriously. Uh, but this is just the TFO to get us going um, to complete, even if you haven't done so already, to complete the event campaign and just, you know, finish it off to claim one of these tier five, um, or t sorry, t tier five, tier six, I want to say correctly, the tier six premium starship. So here's a list of all of the ships that you can choose from. Over here at the reward info, if you if you um, if you're interested in that, or I'll also two times the hundred percent discount uh, coupon for the tier six, any tier six ships in the Zen store, and also fifteen hundred low buy crystals. If you're, I don't know, if you're into into low buy and you're like, yes, there is something that I really 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 need. You can go for that option now i've already claimed mine uh this is the tier three and this is the tier one i still have not made my choice to be honest because i just don't know why i should put all of the resources that i'm gathering from in this particular choice i just want to have all of the ships that are available to me in any kind and it's I still don't know. I just I just don't know if it's really worth it. I mean, if I really, really, really want a particular ship, I just go after it at the exchange. And the exchange is right, uh, right here. Where this guy is called uh, the Boo Saboom is all about. There's basically where the exchange is. And I, if I want something, then I just, you know, save up a little bit. Here we go. Save up a little bit for the exchange and then just grab it off. Off of there, uh, they're giving you a the option right here to to grab yourselves one of these premium ships. These are the R and D packages that you're going to get. These are, um, I believe, all the way to 2020, not the 2021 version. So last year's premium ship. These are still good, to be honest. These are still very, very, very good if you compare it with like um the latest lockbox now obviously there's going to be some changes there's going to be you know uh, good things bad things but overall we are getting these things for free just by playing the game you're just going to have to get or at least you are rewarded by one of these ships so win-win situation for everybody the game is going to be a little bit crowded you guys are having a free ship win-win situation do the tfos have, be a little bit active and all is going to be good so that is it um i totally wish that this video was a little bit different a different tfo maybe give you guys a little bit of playthrough but unfortunately they uh, opted to give us the same tfo that is in the game they did not do any of the you know the new stuff that we are basically screaming at cryptic give us new stuff we're kind of heading um down the road where we're just repeating the same thing over and over and over again and especially in the end game especially if you guys already have leveled a character to level 65 there isn't anything new to do in the game so your end game playthroughs you you basically build up your own character for what why did you spend so much time in the game if there is nothing to do just daily and reruns and reruns into the game so that is my question to cryptic maybe you guys can answer that that's it for this video i would love to see you guys on the next one take care and later